Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today we've got here a interesting add-on to a Raspberry Pi 4. This is a kit that brings everything that we need to have a portable mini display, 7 inches display, that will work as it is right now with the Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. But also if we want to use with a Windows 10 or 11 computer, we will be able to with touch screen on both operating systems. I did test it out here on one of my main computers, which is not, in my opinion, the target of this mini display. But nonetheless, in terms of test, I did touch screen test and so on and so forth. Everything works just fine. I do believe that the target is either Raspberry Pi 4 in a portable format, which is really nice. I could have a power bank right over here and have it completely mobile solution. Or if I want to connect this to a mini PC in terms of Windows for home assistant server or any other kind of server, that is the goal, in my opinion, to have a small unit such as this one that we can take anywhere and that's just great now if you are looking for windows 10 or windows 11 keys at a budget don't forget to check out the link down below for cdkeysales.com which is a platform that we have tested purchased a few keys we have activated windows office 2021 really easy so it's a platform that i have no issues in recommending if you are looking for a budget key now in terms of the kit itself it brings everything that we need with the exception of course of the raspberry pi and it doesn't bring the Windows 11 computer that I did test out. So it's a kit with everything, cables and so on and so forth and screws that we will follow the manual, which is a manual really interesting. This is not the first device that we have seen from Sun Founder. And one thing that they all have in common is the instructions are very clear to follow. And probably you are seeing some images, the example by putting in the Raspberry Pi 4, for example, we have a few steps. First is just to put in the Raspberry Pi 4 as indicated. Then we will need to put in the HDMI bridge, then the USB bridge, then we have those four feet in plastic that we need to screw. And then uh, optionally we can mount the uh, metal chunk right over here, or as I did, I did place in the back cover, acrylic back cover, the protective cover. And basically that was it. And then finally we just need to connect to the power and it will boot depending on the operating system that we have. In this particular case, I'm using Diet Pi, which is one of my favorite operating systems for the Raspberry Pi. If you haven't watched, uh, I will try to leave a link right over here. Or if you search on the channel for Diet Pi, you'll find some interesting videos that we have done in the past. And basically this is it. There is also a few other options like mounting an SSD. We can put in an SSD right over here and connect it to the Raspberry Pi. It also has the option to put in a webcam for the Raspberry Pi, which is really nice, but in all in all, really easy to assemble, everything very friendly. And what I can say is that this is a piece which is elegant to increase the usage that we can give to our Raspberry Pi. It also comes with the option to use these four buttons right over here, one of which is the power button. Then we also have volume up and volume down. And we also have the menu. Actually, it's five buttons, not four, one of which is the back button. The menu is really complete, as you can see, a lot of options. Actually, in my opinion, more options than would be necessary in a such a portable display, which in my opinion might be really, really interesting in two case scenarios. First of all, like we are using right now, but probably with a power bank, which I can be completely mobile and take it anywhere or the other way, if I don't want to use the Raspberry Pi, but I want a small display to put on a server, Windows uh, computer server that I have got Home Assistant or I've got any other automatization like we have back there. And if you follow the channel, we have seen so many videos that we have done in the past in terms of automatization. So this is, in my opinion, those kind of scenarios where I see that it will fit really great and also it will match what we are looking for in this particular case, an upgrade to our experience with the Raspberry Pi or a mini PC. I will leave links down below so that you guys can check out all the specifications and prices and so on and so forth. Hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.